Hello, Pastor Gates and Liberty Baptist Church. How are y'all doing? It's good to greet you today in the name of Jesus. I salute you and thank you for all your prayers and friendship and support for our family and our ministry. And I uh, just want to give you a little update um, as far as what God is doing in our ministry. Um, our children are doing well. Mona is doing well. Um, she is still married to me. <laughs> Even after 30 years, I can't believe she's still with me. God has been good to me in giving me a good wife, a good ministry companion. Uh, our children are doing well. Um, you know, when you're in ministry, it seems like your children are always a special target for the devil. And uh, just today we experienced a, a sweet, uh, a sweet victory. And uh, maybe one of these days I'll I'll tell you about it. But just suffice it to say that Mona and I are very uh, thankful to the Lord and very pleased, and we're very happy about that. As far as the ministry goes, the churches and the radio stations are all doing well. Um, we have eight radio stations in Mexico and two in Peru and I don't know how many um, churches we have honestly uh, last I counted it was about 35 that the Lord has given us um, and it just keeps growing the radio ministry is the absolute best way to plant churches so our ministry motto is church planting through radio um, I would like to give you one success story. Uh, some of these stories are too long to write about in prayer letters. Uh, several years ago, a Pentecostal pastor by the main name of Manuel Toledo uh, contacted us <clears throat> and said that he had a radio station and that he wanted us to help him build a radio station. And um, so we started uh, negotiating with him if you will and so I told him that we would help him build a new radio station he wanted to build if he would put the pro our programming on the new radio station so he told me he said I hope you don't get angry he said but I have already been uh, putting uh, your programming on our radio station Sinai radio so we built the second radio station with him and um, in, in partnership with him. And we have not asked him to leave the Pentecostal denomination because we to become a Baptist because we knew that God would do a work. And sure enough, he has, God has been doing a work in Pastor Manuel Toledo. Um, he has not totally and completely left the Pentecostal religion but he is starting to see the fallacies of that, of that work-based salvation doctrine. God has got a hold of Pastor Manuel Toledo's heart and um, has in many ways transformed his life. Uh, he was telling me a couple of months ago that he, since he's been learning about the gospel from us, that he went and preached a revival meeting in a Pentecostal church there in Chiapas and uh, when he gave the invitation he said that members that had been men and women that had been members of that church for 20 30 years came down the aisle crying accepting Christ as their Savior in that Pentecostal church that's amazing <laughs> It's amazing that God would open up a door like that to us into the Pentecostal denomination. Um, we are Baptist, and we believe the Baptist doctrine and the Baptist distinctive, but we're not here to make people into Baptists. We're here to proclaim the glorious gospel of Christ that people like Manuel Toledo <clears throat> might understand and God, in His time and in His way, brings them out uh, from that error. By the way, Pastor Manuel Toledo is the second pastor 
the second Pentecostal pastor that we have been working with. The other Pentecostal pastor that we're working with is Brother Angel and his wife Marlene. And we could say the same thing there, that, that God has worked tremendously in their lives and they are beginning to see the light um, of the, the truth of the gospel. So I would consider that to be a huge success story. I, I love those kind of stories. I love when it's the gospel. It's the gospel that transforms pe people's lives. Not me, not you, not, not our denomination, not our culture, but the, the preaching of the gospel of Christ. Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God into salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. I, I, I want to see more stories like that. And I would consider those two stories there success stories. As far as uh, ministry needs, well, we are um, building, of course, the radio station in Sonora. We've been working on that for about um, coming up on three years now. We're building that radio station in partnership with Brother Gary Schwer at Hands Across Borders. He is in Sonora. And so we're, uh, we have those needs there. Um, for equipment and different things uh, to finish that radio station. It's coming along quite well. And then we just started building um, a new radio station with Pastor Manuel Toledo in Santo Tomas. I believe I wrote about that uh, in my last prayer letter about um, the radio station that we're building in Santo Tomas there in Chiapas. And as far as personal needs, um, I can't think of any anything right now. God has been good to us. A new Cadillac. <laughs> no, we're we're we 